Americans over the years and have won each time. But surprisingly, they've not met since the 1980s and at times really have changed. Ireland qualified for the World Cup last summer and then won every game in their Nations League campaign last autumn, getting themselves promoted to League A. They are not a side to be taken lightly, that's for sure. Now, one player who knows... Welcome back. We are moments away from kick-off in Dublin as England is set to face the Republic of Ireland. There is the very light, light show that's been going on and there are the fans. Now, they're very much up for this. England and the Republic of Ireland have not met each other in 37 years. England, in fact, have never actually played at the Aviva Stadium and the players are set and ready to walk out. Karen Carney, what are we expecting from this one? Feisty. Uh, look, this is a rivalry. Take nothing away from... Yes, thank you, Seema. Oh, from Wembley to the Aviva Stadium for England. Ireland's National Arena welcomes overdue opposition as national anthems. Look at the teams straight away. Eileen Gleeson makes two changes from Friday's France match. The team news for England and Leah Williamson is back. The captain makes her first appearance for the... Both sets of players. And away we go. A historic night for these two nations as they... Walsh. Under pressure here, Ireland with Caruso. Sullivan in the penalty area waiting for the cross. Put England under pressure early. England fans will be very excited to see Jess Park definitely one of them. McCabe, a tester for Hampton, who claims Walsh. And Patton, energy from the Ireland side, trying to win that ball high up the pitch. And that'll be a free kick to England, but they would expect a bit of this treatment. That would certainly have been in Ireland's game plan. So one, Hemp on the ball. And Hemp drifting inside to try and play it across. Could have dropped a, a white shirt instead. Mannion couldn't quite keep it, looking to do just that. James, James, another clip ball, she's so dangerous with those in the first effort on goal for England. Russo, we know, that's how England scored their opener on Friday. It was one back well by Payne. Little John to send it into the penalty area and waiting for the cross. And in it goes, it might reach bronze at the back post, it does! And James is there, and James scores for England. And they lead in Ireland. It's taken just over 11 minutes for the Lionesses to find the net. Lauren James in the right place. And they're off and running in the Aviva. Lauren James does not miss from there. It's a brilliant delivery to the back post. Evades every Ireland defender. It's him. Toon back to him. Almost too quick for Mannion there, but did just well enough in the end. As Hemp will hang it towards Bronze. McKay got something on it. And the park. England convinced there was a handball there. And the referee is pointed to the spot. Well, Ireland can't believe it. It took some time. But it will be a penalty to England. I don't know, it, it looked it looked like there's a hand, I'll have to see. Who's ring round, will they put off Alex Greenwood? The Greenwood will fail. Greenwood doesn't fail. And England are 2-0 up. Yeah. The perfect penalty by Alex Greenwood. Sends the keeper the wrong way. 
powerful side foot straight into that bottom corner. With Georgia Stanway not on the pitch, England have no concerns. Greenwood steps up, slots it in. 2 0 England, a great start. Yeah, it's a great start for England, I suppose. Nightmare start for Ireland. There's a, a team huddle going. Stepping forward is Williamson. She'll look for James, and the flag goes up in the end. But Eve, just a moment to talk about Ireland and the strides that Irish football has made qualifying for the World Cup for the first time. It's in space to clip it into Russo. He hasn't seen too much of the ball so far, unless a Russo, but England have seen a lot of the ball. Then got to pick up. Russo on to James, flag's gone up. But Lauren James at the moment, as we've seen so often, just plays her game and it so often feels a level above. And hit. Going around Mannion, in towards Russo. And the referee has given another penalty to England. An island aghast. Louise Quinn asking, are you sure, referee? Oh, I don't know about that one. That er, sh She's trying to play the ball, I think, to make a clearance. Her, her, where does she want her arms to be in this situation? I think it's very harsh. And two handballs from Ireland. It's Greenwood. Another penalty. Oh, she can't convert that one. And behind it goes. And I imagine there'll be some in Ireland feeling justice was done. I think so, Seb, but I've got my Irish hat on. Uh, I'm glad that's hit the post. So maybe, you know, we needed a break and, and that's and that's maybe it in this half. But you've got a little bit of extra luck there as well. It could have so easily hit that post, come back off the goalkeeper and in for an own. Being forced back, though. Ireland new to press Carter there. It's good pressure from Ireland. I think they've just come, you know, five, ten yards higher. And... It's a tackle from Williamson. James, James, looking for a clip ball into Russo and bronze. And Toon to look for Russo, too much on the puck. Getting bodies forward here. Lucy Quinn is full of running. And England struggling to clear it, really. Referee, who instead blows for half time. Well, Ireland gave everything really to try and stop England, but they couldn't stop Laura James scoring early on. Alex Greenwood with two penalties. One she scored, one she missed. Who did start the game on Friday, has come into the centre of the... Is there right to carry on? Mannion is asking a lot for her to get there. But Ellen James has stayed down. Wards, Hemp, who didn't keep it in play. James rolling into Toon, onto Hemp, pulls it back. Pockets, it's been difficult for her because there's been so many bodies in there. It's a big game for her and she could be proud of her performance. And Lee, from your point of view, Williamson playing that ball over the top and slips. Ball's got England going. Russo lays it off. Mead. And then the flag goes up and Mead disagrees. But some of the combination play today has been pretty good. Comes on and Lucy Quinn. And Campbell launches it into that penalty area. And England scramble it away. I told you we were not joking about that throw. Fantastic. It's it's such a weapon to have and um it go out for a throw in. Well that, that's the decision you have to make. Do you you know who knows sometimes it might be even better to hit it out for a corner because here we go again. Well you can hear the crowd. We've seen that first throw for Campbell and Hampton put under pressure, had to put it out of play. This one. So Campbell to wind one up again, launches it in. Hampton was struggling to deal with that. It's put behind at the near post. Oh, the crowd is up now. It, Megan's good. McCabe. Hampton doesn't come for it. England clear it. Trying to find a way through. Bronze as well. Forcing the issue. That will be a goal kick in the end. 
I just can't believe it. James winning it for England, hanging it to the back post. Mead is there, and across it goes, and Brosnan makes a point blank range save. Fort McCabe to catch England out, and McCabe sends it forward, and Hampton. McCabe to pump it forward. Patton is in there, but headed it straight to Kirby, who bends that pass round looking for Mead, and Brosnan. Plenty of targets in green, and to the back post it goes. And Hayes was free, but it was straight at Hampton. O'Sullivan, terrific ball in, and it was Quinn attacking it. Serena Vigman not happy at the moment as the ball's fake played forward to Quinn. Desperate bang. Brings again on with it, and Hampton needs to wake up because. She felt that should have been stopped instead. Ireland taking advantage. No, McCabe straight at her. Hannah Hampton relying there on the referee to blow. She didn't. Ellie and Rachel Daly. It's not fair sometimes. No, it? it's not fair. I mean. And the ball played down the line towards Daly. Is it down the line? But McCabe is there. And that will be that. England's first visit to the Aviva Stadium ends with a win. Both goals coming in the first half through Lauren James and a penalty from Alex Greenwood. The second half ball led to another penalty for England, but Greenwood couldn't convert.